Hello everyone and welcome. I'm glad that you're able to join us. Uh, as a reminder, we will continue in-person worshiping this Sunday at 9.30 a.m. You will need to register for this. You may do so by either calling the church office at 995-0133 between the hours of 9 and 3 p.m. or you may register online at www.messiahnfm.com dot com. Again, that's www.messiahnfm.com. Our opening prayer can be found in the front portion of the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal on page 72. Today, we pray for the grace to receive the word. Let us pray. Blessed Lord God, you have caused the Holy Scriptures to be written for the nourishment of your people. Grant that we may hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that comforted by your promises, we may embrace and forever hold fast to the hope of eternal life, which you have given us in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The title of Jennifer Baker Eddy's reflection for today is Life-Giving Flood, and she bases her reflection on the familiar hymn, I Want Jesus to Walk With Me. You can find this African spiritual in With One Voice, hymn number 660, in This Far by Faith, hymn number 66, or in the ELW, hymn number 325. Trinity writes, Have you experienced a flood? When you heard the warnings, what did you do? You most likely took the obvious safety measures, securing safe drinking water, filling and placing sandbags, seeking higher ground for yourself and your valuables. When floods threaten, individuals and communities pull together working to prevent damage to their homes and businesses. We do all that is humanly possible to keep the waters at bay. You could say that when waters threaten, we become ark builders. Safety is our first concern, yet we know that our ark building measures will not always protect us from harm. In our readings the first Sunday in Lent, we learned that Jesus' baptism by John does not build a safe ark for him. Our lives then as children of God are not primarily about being safe, but about being led by the Spirit. That same Spirit that led Jesus into the wilderness. We may have to walk right into the flood rather than being protected from it. Does that mean we abandon safety measures when disasters threaten? Well, of course not. God calls us to be partners in caring for creation. Yet, as children of God, we realize that God alone can be the ark that keeps us safe from the rising waters. Our attempts to save ourselves is never enough. As we journey into Lent, let us consider what might need destroying in order that life may bound. God will lead the way. Let us pray. Oh, Jesus, to walk with me. Oh,
Yeah. 